Now, I know that you probably were expecting our assembly to come last week, but I thought I'll save it until today. I'll save it until Monday because this assembly is... Hmm, actually, last week I asked you to all have a little bit of a conversation and do some learning at home to find out what that word meant that I talked to you about. That word was penultimate. If you work that out, tell somebody now. Tell somebody sitting next to you what penultimate means. And I said that last week was the penultimate assembly. That means that last week's assembly was the last assembly but one, which means this one is the last one this year. Now it's the last assembly that I'm doing for you, but actually scholars, if you're at home or at school, Mr. Saeed, Mr. David, Miss Renka and me, we're all going to do one more assembly that's going to happen in the last week of school, so next week, next Wednesday. If you're at home, we're going to record it so you can watch it at home. But if you're in school, you'll be able to watch it in class with your friends. And we're all going to do it together, so we're very, very excited about that. Anyway, because this is the last assembly, I want to spend some time talking to you about the last value, success. Now, can you remember that I talked to you about this lady, J.K. Rowling, who wrote Harry Potter and how she achieved success, how she had a really, really tough start to life, but because she had so many of our other values, she achieved amazing success and wrote probably the most well-known children's book of all time. I'd say that's pretty successful. Well, today we're going to see which of our AJK scholars has followed in J.K. Rowling's footsteps and is already achieving great success at home and has been awarded the Class Scholar Award for Success. So, let's start with reception. In reception, we have Eleona, Nesreen and Ali. Let's hear why their teachers chose them. I chose Eleona because she has accomplished so much while at home. She is engaged with the home learning and been successful with different activities. She has now returned to school, super confident, ready to show us her new knowledge and skills. And in Sharat, I chose Nesbeen for success. She has come back to school with new confidence in her abilities, which has helped to produce some wonderful writing and maths work. She is such a successful learner. And in grey class, I would like to choose Ali. Ali has shown such a fantastic attitude towards maths since returning to school. His focus, hard work and enthusiasm for maths has resulted in his success. Ali can confidently find harder numbers, objects and shapes. <gasps> Amazing. Well done all those guys in reception. That is fantastic. You are all super successful. Let's see who got the award in year one. In year one we have Robin, Mette and Selma. In Donaldson, Robin is our success scholar. Throughout lockdown, with support from her family, Robin has consistently gone above and beyond in home learning. She has fully engaged with all of the fun Fridays and even dressed up as a pirate. Each week, she is one of the highest earners in class dojos because of her continued hard work at home. In Dundle, Mette was chosen for the success award because he has been working hard on his math this week and showing his teacher how he can make different number bombs by adding and taking away away. His teacher is so proud. And in Rosen, Salman gets the Success Scholar Award because he has achieved success through challenging himself. He has been completing the more tricky math equations and he has used his prior knowledge to make links and solve problems. Wow, three very successful scholars in year one. Let's see who gets the success award in year two. In Carol, it's Esteban. In Rowling, it's Brianna. And in Brown Class, it's Louis. Let's see why. Esteban was chosen for successfully taking responsibility for his new dog and taking care of her in a very mature and adult manner. Excellent, Esteban. In Rowling, Brianna was chosen because she has successfully completed various activities throughout the lockdown period which she has been putting on 
Glass Dojo. She has kept up with her work and remained happy throughout. That does sound like success. And Louis in Grand Cross was chosen because after speaking to his mum and him on the phone, she, his teacher has heard that he worked really hard, especially in his reading and writing. This commitment has led to great improvements. Good job, Louis. Your teacher's really proud of you. Well done, year two. Very successful learners there. Let's see year three. So we have Milan, Casey Ann, and Tova. In Kipling, I would like to choose Milan. She has worked extremely hard and been very successful throughout her own learning, both academically and creatively. And in Jermaine, I would like to choose Casey Ann. She has worked really hard with this and, and with this effort has achieved great success with her learning. And in Franklin, I chose Tova. His hard work has led to amazing success with TT Rockstars. And I heard that year three did amazing in a London TT Rockstar competition. So well done, those year three scholars. Excellent success in year three. Let's move on to year four. So we have Yaya, Kimura, and Ayumi. In Fibonacci, my scholar for success this week is Yaya because she has been working really hard with her home learning every day and has successfully collected a lot of dojo points because of her hard work. And in Pankhurst, I have chosen Kimura. The reason I have chosen her is because throughout this pandemic, she has taken everything in her stride and has not let it hold, let it hold back from being successful. She completes all her home learning and even does extra maths for for some fun. She engages in her class dojos and time table rock stars. Her efforts have not gone unnoticed. I can tell she really cares about her learning. Keep going, Kamora. Well done. And in Morcurgo, I nominate Ayumi of the Morcurgo clubs. The reason I've nominated her is because she always pushes herself to do her best and is constantly seeking out further work to enrich her home learning as evidenced by her regular updates on class dojos. I am especially pleased with her keenness to use art to explore important social matters such as racial injustice and climate change. Wow, I would love to see that artwork, Ayomi. What successful learning and work in year four. Well done, those scholars. Okay, year five, we have Kaimani and Hazel. Kaimani was chosen because he has really impressed Mr. Etheridge in the way that he's kept up the excellent quality of his work while he's been at home. And Hazel was chosen because she was successful in cracking a really tricky math problem. Her effort and determination were amazing, leading to her success. Excellent learning in year five there. It's been fantastic to see some of our year five scholars back for the last two weeks. Excellent work, scholars. Let's go to year six. In year six, we have Robert and Kelvin. Robert was chosen because over the whole of lockdown, he has worked extremely hard to complete all of the home learning sets. And since returning to school, he has continued to show all of the key values, which has enabled him to make this overall experience successful. Well done, Robert. I would like to choose Kelvin this week. He has shown real success since being back at school. His resilience really shone through in our mass problem solving and helped him to achieve success. Well done, and Robert and Kelvin, you're our last year six scholars. So the last scholars awarded in primary, because next time you get an award, you're going to be in year seven, year six. So that is fantastic to hear. Well done, Robert and Kelvin. You must be very, very proud to get that final award from your teachers. Let's move on to some more success. <gasps> Dojos. It's so great to hear your teachers talking about how you're putting things on class dojos. We really, really love seeing what you're doing and what you're learning, so keep doing that, scholars. It's something that will probably carry on forever, not just while the school's closed to some children, but even when we open again in September, and we're really looking forward to being able to open to all of the scholars and see all of you come back in September. One of the things that we'll probably keep is this. So let's see who's at the top of the leaderboard. Year two are in third with 
year three, our second with 3,624. So I just, I know what this is going to say to scholars. You know, year one, again, absolutely smashing it. You have won every single week year one. You are doing an amazing job. 4,079 dojo points. Absolutely spectacular. Give them a clap. Thank you, Simpsons people. Okay, so, as I said, scholars, this is the last assembly that I'm going to do until I see you again in July. We are, in, sorry, in September. We are going to do a special assembly led by myself, Ms. Renica, Mr. Saeed, and Mr. David, um, and that's going to be in the last week of term. And you will be able to watch that whether you are in school or at home. But I just wanted to say to everybody that I really, really can't wait to see you all back in September. It's been so strange not having all the scholars back, and I really, really have missed not having you all here. But I really, really hope that you're going to carry on working so hard over the summer holidays, have lots of fun and enjoy the sun too, because when you come back to school in September, hopefully we can all be back here together again. And it will be so lovely to have our school feeling a bit more normal and a bit more like it should feel. Busy. Busy with children in classrooms. Learning, learning, learning. So, I'm going to say our pledge. I'm going to say it all together. And I'm really, really going to be listening to make sure that you're all joining in with me, okay? Because just because I'm here, it doesn't mean that I can't hear you, okay, scholars? So, nice and loud and proud. At Art John Keats, I will work hard every day. Always do my best and be kind to others. Okay, scholars, so really looking forward to seeing some of you coming back if you're in year two, three, or four before the summer holidays. But if not, if your parents have decided that they don't want you to start school yet and they're just going to send you in September, then I'm really looking forward to seeing all of you then, okay? So have a lovely break, have a lovely holiday, keep on learning and doing all the wonderful things that you've been doing since you've been at home, and I really look forward to seeing you soon. Bye, scholars. Take care.